the production packer. Here we are looking at a modern production packer. It's quite difficult to see how it works. Now I've got a nice model here of an older version. This is actually a bridge plug which is set in the well. You'll see it's a beautiful model in that it is a old and rusty, I know, but here you've got a piece of casing and it's been sectioned and we can see a packer which has been set inside it. Let's look at the important elements. Here in the middle is the rubber element. You can see how it's expanded out. It's sealing hard against the rubber. Now above it you'll see here a set of slips. These slips have sharp teeth which bite into the inner wall of the casing. And behind those slips, observe, there is a wedge. That wedge is forcing those slips out. The wedge is going in the angle of my hands. Now let's look to the bottom of the tool. Straight away you'll see there the wedge going in the opposite direction with the slips biting into the side and the slips are stopped from moving down by this ridge here. Now, how do we set this in the well? When we run this in the well, these slips are freely floating up here, the rubber is in its natural position in, and then we get down to the depth where we wish to set it. I pull up on the bottom of the tool, and at the same time I push down on the top of the tool. I'm compressing it. As I push down on here, I'm pushing the slips out against the casing, but they are pushing on the ramp, which is pushing on the rubber, which is expanding the rubber. Meanwhile, from beneath, this ledge here is pulling up on these slips, up the ramp, pushing on this here, so the rubber is now compressed against the casing. The slips above and below are locked against the casing, and then the device is locked in place and is there to stay. Now this particular one is a plug. This is for plugging a well, it's an old one. Let's see how this applies to the more modern equipment we have here. Ah, I think you recognize straight away now some of the elements. Let's start from the bottom. Here are the lower slips, and there you see the wedge, the ramp situation inside. Coming up, you see the rubber seal, which is currently flush with the tool so it's not expanded at all. Coming up, we now see the wedge in that direction and above it the slips. Now let's carry on going. Above this we have a seal bore. Here's a lovely seal bore, very smooth inside, mirror type finish with steel. And on top of it here is a rather rough thread. It's actually a left hand thread because what is this packer for? We've just sealed it in the casing. Surely it must have some purpose, and indeed it does. Let's look inside this particular packer, if we can, please. You'll observe that this packer is completely open on the inside. There's nothing there. So indeed, what is this packer for? It is now locked in position, just above the perforation interval, and the next thing I want to do is to run in the completion. Now, on the bottom of my completion tubing, typically, I will have a device, I've got one here, called an anchor. Here you have the anchor latch assembly. At the bottom of the anchor latch you have a series of seals. These are going to go into that shiny seal bore I showed you. And just above it here you have the ratch latch. This is moving, it's free to move, and the way it's designed I can just push it in, but I can undo it to the left, is that the left? That's the right, to the left to pull it out. Let's see how this fits into the top of the tool. And here you have it. This would be on the bottom of the tubing. The seals are now introduced to the seal bore. Down comes the ratch latch and it goes down and there you are. It's latched into the top of the packer. And now my tubing is latched in. It's sealed in to the production packer. There's one other possible use of these packers, well in fact there are many, but one I'd like to highlight. This packer could be used, for example, at the bottom of a whipstock. So again, let's look back at the packer. I would have the packer set in the well. Above the packer here, I could have a whipstock which would enable me to sidetrack the well. The packer.